40 years ago, hungry cattle deforested an entire region of Costa Rica. Now, these same hills are covered with trees and healthy pastures, a testament to Costa Rica's decades-long commitment to agriculture that protects the environment and reduces global warming. Jose Leon Vargas runs his cattle ranch with this commitment in mind. Fences are made from living teak trees. Forest ecosystems absorb carbon dioxide and protect native wildlife. Water comes from naturally maintained springs. Nutrient-rich grass protects against soil erosion and feeds his livestock. For Leon Vargas and other farmers and ranchers in Costa Rica, climate smart practices are not just good for the planet, they make economic sense. Sí se ven beneficios económicos, sino que también hay una satisfacción personal eh, que es eh, eh, la relación que tiene uno con el medio ambiente. These workers are busy growing saplings from seeds donated by farmers. When they're a little larger, they'll be sold back to farms at a minimal cost. Trees are a vital part of Costa Rica's climate smart agricultural movement. So-called living fences stretch across the lush landscape. Growing trees are planted in rows and strung with barbed wire. They're sturdier than fence posts of dead wood, and the roots fix nitrogen in the soil. Trees are also planted in fields to provide shade for cattle and for coffee plants. Farmer Julio Jimenez Hernandez has more than a thousand cedars and other trees on his farm of four and a half hectares. Every three years, he receives a payment of $1.30 for each eligible tree through a World Bank-supported carbon credit program. Besides the cash payments, the leaves and bark protect and nourish the soil, so he doesn't have to buy much fertilizer. But there's more. In a few years, the trees will reach maturity after 14 years of growth, and Hernandez will be allowed to sell the timber for a windfall profit he projects could be around $50,000. Todavía le faltan entre cuatro y cinco años para ser cosechados. Ellos ya cuando tengan cierta condición van a valer cerca ahí de, de 350, 400 dólares. Trees are not the only way for farmers to reap windfalls. 20 years ago, dairy farmer Carlos Gomez spent a chunk of his profits on grains and fodder. Now, he mostly feeds his cows grasses he harvests on his own land. He grows several varieties. They're specifically bred to fix nitrogen into the soil and to provide protein, fiber, and energy. Saving money on cow feed has increased the profit Gomez makes from his 17 cows, three calves, and a half a dozen goats. He's also spending less on fertilizer because he corrals his cows into small areas of his 22-hectare farm, and he moves them to a new plot every day, so grass has time to recover. In this community and this finca, Muchos productores estamos usando prácticas sostenibles con el medio ambiente, bajando costos de producción y utilizando los recursos locales. Everything here is designed to lessen the farm's carbon footprint and save money. Water comes from a spring on his property. To ensure that the water supply doesn't run dry, he and his neighbors allow natural forests to grow on the banks to protect the stream bed. That has the additional advantage of protecting birds and other wildlife, as well as preventing erosion. Even cow manure is put to use. It's collected in this contraption. It's called a biodigester. Manure goes in, and with water and time, it captures methane. Gomez uses the fuel to operate the equipment he needs to make cheese, and a line runs to his house to provide fuel for cooking and heating water. Another savings. Gomez says that he and his neighbors believe in climate-smart agricultural processes because they make economic sense, and because they're proud that Costa Rica is considered a world role model. He has seen climate change, and he knows action must be taken. El clima ha cambiado y va cambiando. Estos efectos fuertes contra la agricultura se ha cambiado. Of course, the methods and species used in Costa Rica won't work for every country. Climates, soil conditions, and water supplies differ around the world. For instance, these cows at a research facility are being specifically bred to tolerate Costa Rican heat and still give milk. 
But other countries could adopt Costa Rica's commitment to a climate-smart approach to growing crops, raising livestock, maintaining forests. It not only saves the planet, but makes good economic sense. It could become a universal trend, a mindset. At his ranch, Leon Vargas is so committed to sustainable practices, he even uses guppies to clean the water in the trough used by his cattle. Sí la sigo haciendo porque yo lo hago por convicción, no lo hago por negocios, ni por unos dólares más o colones más o colones menos. Creo que es obligación de todo de todo ciudadano este ayudar ayudar en lo que es la conservación y amortiguar o mitigar los efectos del, del calentamiento global. So in this small country at the crossroads of two worlds, a carbon footprint is reduced at minimal cost and maximum benefits. A la tierra hay que agradecerle y hay que devolverle. <laughs>